Howdy y'all, my name is Press, I'm coming at you with some Nom Nom Galaxy! Some of y'all may remember this game from, gosh, like a year ago when it first came onto Early Access and I started playing it immediately because I saw it and I said, that's a game for me, this is a game for me. And uh, then, you know, we played it uh, for quite a while, Jasmine and I played co-op, I played by myself a bit, we went back and forth, did a whole bunch, and uh, then we just sort of stopped for a little while because the updates were a little bit few and far between, there wasn't a whole lot more we could show you, wasn't all the progression. Well, it has been a year, there have been tons of updates, there have been tons of more stuff put into this game, and I could not be more excited to jump into this game again completely blind. I've been paying very little attention to the updates because I didn't want to know really what was going on and what had been changed. I saw screenshots, there's some bosses I think, there's all kinds of stuff that I have no clue what it is, and that is exhilarating to me. I love jumping into games blind. So we're going to uh, jump in. I have one file here just because I had to make that in order to actually set the resolution to full screen. Um, so we're gonna just we're gonna make a new one so we can see the intro again. So uh, let's see what's going on here. There's like a story now. It's so great. In the beginning, an ancient civilization created the perfect food, soup. They also created cans to store the soup and believed they would flourish forever. Many years passed, and soup became much more than just a food for people throughout the galaxy, as advances in production boosted technology. Of all the competing soup companies in the galaxy, one rose to prominence above the rest in scale and power. Mega Soup Inc., controlled by the ruthless Mr. Chopsticks. But the residents of the galaxy grew hungry for new and exciting flavors to fill the void appeared. Oh, to fill the void appeared... Soup Co., led by me, Robo Shacho, and you, my astro workers, will lead us to victory in the battle for dinner table dominance. Make soup, astro worker. Go, go, astro worker. Go, go, astro worker. Yeah! Oh, so excited. Look how cute they are. Oh, they're so the best. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Astro worker, making soup, making soup, making soup. What's our name? Stumped in dist oh well then maybe we do like this. Stumped end. Yep, there we go. Boom ba da boom ba Corporate Conquest, Astro Pins and Recipes, and then a bunch of under repair stuff. So this must be other modes. They're still in alpha, they're still working on this game, but damn it, it's beautiful. Oh no, it's in beta, see, down at the bottom. 0.99B. So they must be close to release, uh, which is really, really exciting. Uh, but let's let's jump into corporate conquest. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's that it's like progression! Whoa! You have to unlock them. A monitored training facility for middle management to learn the basics of production. Lethality within designated threshold. Okay. Interesting. Start conquest. A monitor. Okay, let's do it. Interesting. The Galactic Soup Association offers training facilities for soup production. Hopeful. Start a career bringing happiness to the galaxy today. OPP. Who has the favorite flavor? Oop. Oh, wow. This level looks completely different. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the bumpy landing, Astro Worker. Honestly, I am. <laughs> I am your boss, Robo Shacho, and today is your first day as a loyal employee of Soupco. I mean, Stumped Industries, the galaxy's most ambitious soup company. You will scour the galaxy for new ingredients, build automated soup factories, and battle rivals for the market share of soup sales. But first, let's get you to the junior factory. It should be simple enough to get running, otherwise your orientation will also be your last day. First, you need to find the company Buzzsaw you appear to be missing. If you've lost it, it's coming out of your wages. I have to find the Buzzsaw? Where is it? Okay, tap A to jump, hold A to jump higher. Alright, well it's not that way for sure. This is so interesting. This is completely different than what it used to be, which was a um, very open decision-making kind of deal. I'm just heading left or right because I figure that might be how to find this thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, can I climb? Oh, it looks like you can climb. That's cool. Your astro suit can only store so much oxygen. Oxygen pockets like this will refill your meter and keep you breathing. I have to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork whenever an astro worker dies, so be considerate and try not to die. Oh, you'll be fired! I love this guy. Robo Shacho, hold LT to sprint over land and get around faster. Oh, that's cool. Me to pick this up. You found it. Well done, Astro Worker. In your hands, you hold an official Supco Buzzsaw, the perfect tool for terraforming through soft green rock. Without that buzzsaw, you can grind a path through the grassy terrain in that cave next to you with that buzzsaw. Our scanners say the soup factory is nearby. Oh, yeah, I remember this. 
I remember this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Experiencing this once again. What's interesting is that it is a little bit different. Those blue blocks of matter. We use matter to build bigger and better soup factories on other planets. Right now, however, your priority is locating the factory. All right, so let's uh, get a couple of these at least. You know, plan ahead. Get your goods. Cool. Oh, they're animated now. I like that. All right. Oh, there's a ladder. I see a ladder. I see an oxygen plant. I see some of those little corn bastards. All kinds of stuff. All right. Eh. Your Supco Astro suit has the amazing ability to generate ladders that are perfect for climbing sea balls. Matter is used to create new ladders or to extend the ladder you're on, either up or down. Uh, how do I do? Yeah, that's what I thought. I pressed that. Didn't do it right away. I was, I was too quick for them. They're like, dude, how do you even know this stuff? I'm like, psh, because I played this back when it was, like, not even the same game. So, take that. Oh, look at those fish! Oh, those are cool! I've never seen those before! Oh, and look at this heart-shaped oxygen pocket! That's adorable! Oh, man, this game. Hey, we got ourselves a factor! Oh! Goodness! Ah, here we are. This training facility only has the bare essentials, but it's missing a few vital parts. You'll have to replace the destroyed machines and corridors so the factory can start making soup. Start by adding a shiny new soup machine. Open the construction menu. Okay. What, do I hold right trigger or something? Press and hold Y and choose a new building to build. Okay, soup machine. You can't make soup without a soup machine, and if you don't make soup, our market share will fail. Okay, let's go like that. Okay. Oh, and now it's building. Okay. Great! More of our factory is now receiving power. Next, let's build a soup rocket to launch our soup to the hungry galaxy. Open the construction menu again, Astro Worker. Okay. Now build a soup rocket. Okay, I love soup rockets. There's no better way of shipping tasty soup to our interstellar customers and sealing the market share away from our rivals. Let's do it. All right. Very cool. Oh, I gotta build another one. Finally, a piece of this corridor needs to be rebuilt. Open up the construction menu and we'll fix it. Okay. Uh, corridor. Right. That's much better. We'll be back up and running in no time. Now let's find some tasty ingredients to put in the soup machine. I think some blue cap mushrooms are growing below the factory. Pop down the zero G elevator and grab some ASAP. Whee! Oh, that's bad. Oh, good, there's water. <laughs> All right. How do I pick you up? Just punch. Use X or the buzzsaw to harvest ingredients. Pop up. Give me your stuff. All right, we're just going to punch. Pick up. That looks perfect for a soup. I want to try out. Take a blue cat back to the factory, please. Use those ladders to get back up there and hurry. How do I plant again? There we go. You press left. It's always good to plant the extras because you're planning ahead. Although planting them in oxygen means that they will grow faster, so I should have planted them all near the oxygen. That's fine, though. Hey! Woo! Zero G. Okay. Oh, gosh, am I going to have to go get another one? <gasps> oh, that's okay. He's protecting them. Well done, but we need two ingredients to blend a tasty can of soup. Our robot workers have the right idea above. They're making cans of creamed corn bug soup. Okay, I know where you can find some tomatoes that will make an amazing new soup flavor. Let's go and explore. Let's go find some tomatoes. I love this. This is an entirely new level. I've never seen this level before. It's got, like, a story structure to it. It's got all new kinds of animations and things. Oh, it's great. The fact that I'm swimming in water is very different. Tap A for a quick boost. Swimming is fun, but listen up, Astro this is important. Up there in the top right corner is our market share indicator. Another training group is competing against us. We need to ship quicker, tastier soup in order to steal more of the market share. Okay. <laughs> tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Eh, there we go. All right. Ooh -ah. Get our oxygen back. Supposed to go up there to fight the tomatoes, I guess, or something. Gathering tomatoes comes with a very slight risk of death. We'll have to kill one to get an ingredient. Tomatoes can be pretty vicious critters when they want to be, and will gang up on you if you attack their nest. The most dangerous creatures make the tastiest soups. Take a few of them out and collect one of the delicious tomato steaks they drop. All right. Let's do it. Eh, get me up here. Come on. Go away, Bussa. Eh, eh. All right, tomatoes, let's go. Get out of here. Come on. Fight me. Eh, I want your tomato steak. Hua. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Come on. Come on. Get out here. I will kill every single one of you. I will buzzsaw you until there's nothing left. Which is what I just did, and it was wasteful. All right, here we go. Get out of there before they turn nasty. Bring that tomato steak back. 
We're coming. <laughs> no, go. <laughs> so already I'm seeing that this uh, new version has way more automation. Like the fact that you can have, I ha they have that base next to that corn thing, whatever, and it has guys that'll kill them. It has guys that'll pick them up. They'll automatically make soup for you. Our market share is slowly climbing thanks to our robot workers, but this new soup flavor is going to give the galaxy something they've never tried before. Oh, yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go down. Eh. Making soup. Insert new ingredients. Making soup. Yeah, we did it. To mushroom. Everyone loves to mushroom soup. Excellent. The soup machine will turn those two ingredients into a delicious can of to mushroom soup, ready to be shipped off and sold. Once it has split out a can of soup, pick it up and pop it in the soup rocket for delivery, Astro Worker. Look at that up there. Look, they're like they're fighting things. That's great. Awesome. Whoa, what was that? It had like a little green thing. That's so cool. Yeah, graphically, this looks so much nicer. They've done so much to change it. Oh, go Rocket. Soup scent! Yay, corporate! So excited! Wow, I didn't actually think you could do it! But you've got this factory back on track! Maybe you can be trusted after all! That's right, Robo Shacho! Am I supposed to be making more soup? Is that my goal? I guess so. Oh, delivery! Ooh, those people look excited. Look at that soup. What do you think? Yes, they love it! I think they love it. Now that the factory is able to ship soup once more, we need to be ready to defend it. Let's add another shot tower by the eastern entrance. The more market share you steal from a rival soup company, the more likely they are to attack. Okay, press Y. Buy a shot tower to improve your defenses. These will help protect the factory from attacks by other rival soup companies. That's crazy that like, they can attack you now. Alright, got a shot tower. Nice. I assume that means that things are going to attack now. Training group is sending some invaders our way. Look at the skies and get ready to defend the factory. Can I buy a gun? Or a weapon? Danger. 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 I will fight all of you. It won't let me buy a weapon right now. I'm sure it'll tell me to right as it starts. Heh. I'm going to do like this. Get out of here, piglets. Piggytron. You can die. You can go to hell and you can die. My shot towers will kill the rest. Yeah. Take him out. Wow. Eh. I don't think this thing will shoot me, so... Yeah, that's cool. So I can just stand on it. Nice! These guys are a lot less vicious than they were before. Which is really nice. I must say. Get out of here. Eh. Okay, hey, 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 you get off of that. You get... Eh. Eh. Bad. Bad. B I said, get out of here. Yeah. Jerk. Well done, Astro Booker. You're really proving yourself today. Our super rivals won't have been expecting much resistance, but you showed your fangs. We've almost hit 100% market share. Soon there'll be nothing stopping us. I guess once those guys up there um, get us another corn thing... Oh, that's it! Well done! You've shipped enough soup to beat the trainers and steal their market share. But there are many other planets in the galaxy and many more rivals to conquer. Prepare to leave, Astro Worker. Robo Shacho! Out! Woohoo! We did it! What does that mean? How do I leave? Do I go over here? Maybe I go to the... Oh, no! There it goes! Alright! We completed the tutorial level. Let's go look at the first level. Maybe we'll start playing a little bit of something on it. I don't know that this is going to be a series. I was just planning on this being like a quick look. But uh, who knows? Maybe next Saturday I'll do another one or whatever. But um, let's, uh, let's see what this planet looks like. Advanced training facility for soup production administrators. All personnel responsible for their own continued existence. Okay. Okay. Industrial strength. Uh, offering instruction to soup market domination. All participants are advised to sign safety waivers. Who has the favorite flavor? Oh, harvesting ingredients. Okay. Find the pressure cooker. Welcome to Planet GSA 002, the universally acclaimed Astro Worker Training Facility, run by the Galactic Soup Association. Many Astro Workers have passed through this facility and gone on to interstellar soup greatness. Or probably died. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to bring you with me. Just in case. You never know. Planting and growing. But might as well, you know? Worst case scenario, I've planted extra. Eh. Do I have my saw? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hello. What's this say? About time. Just ahead is the purpose-built soup training facility. I call it the pressure cooker. 
Here you'll get a taste of real factory life, maintenance, robot automation, and most importantly, gaining market share. Use your first day to look around and inspect the trading facility. There's a few errands to run to follow those marker arrows and get to work. Oh man, titans of industry. Oh boy, look at all this stuff. There's a little robot dog! What are you? What are you, little buddy? Oh. Is it need to repair? Press B to learn how. How do I do this? Repairing damaged parts of your factory, especially the office, is extremely important. If the office gets destroyed, the factory is useless. So repair it quickly before we are attacked. Hold Y to open the maintenance menu. Okay. Then up. Oh, that. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. That's done. What about down here? Sleeping robots. Punch robot workers with X to wake them up to work or put them back to sleep. Ha! Wake up! All right. Ooh, look at this little thing. That's cool. How does that work? You get pushed along. Uh, okay, what is this? Plants grow much faster near oxygrass. Yes, that I know. Eh. Jump. Jump. What about you? Change throw direction. Some robots can throw things up or down. Press B to learn how. Ah, Travis! His sole purpose in life is to throw soup cans, making him a welcome addition to any Astro Workers Robo Force. I love that his name is Travis. With an advanced QD11 brain, Travis can switch between throwing soup cans up or down. Just punch him in the head with his memory banks and change his mind. <laughs> Alright, so oh, he's, he's pointing down right now. But oh, now he's asleep. Now he's pointing up. Uh huh. I see. What about this? Some of these soup machines require ingredients. This should be second nature by now. If not, we need to have a serious discussion regarding your future. Fill these soup machines with, a, with different ingredients and discover new soup flavors. Well, okay. Soup variety is the key to driving our market share. The more flavors we ship, the easier it is to dominate rival soup companies. Okay, okay. Each soup machine needs two ingredients to make soup. I'm going to add some grass to these ones, I think. Pick this up. Nope, not you, Charlie and Charles. Those guys are named Charlie and Charles, by the way. Uh, just so you know. They're adorable. And there's tons of them. Cream of mushgrass. All right. And a new soup flavor. There are hundreds of different flavors to discover. Some more sought after than others. Astro workers must travel the galaxy and experiment with native ingredients to discover new soup flavors all the time. All right. I'm going to grab this. What is going on? I love this. There's stuff going on that I have no idea about where, like, these bases are so built up. Jasmine and I are going to have a blast playing this again. Green sun chowder. Not great. Not great. What are y'all doing? Hey there, buddy. Every robot has a special role in soup processing. Press B to learn how. Freddy is also essential to factory automation. He's programmed to throw ingredients. As with Travis, punching Freddy will change the direction he throws ingredients. Do I want to? I don't think I want to. He seems to be throwing them straight down, which is where they need to go, I think. They're getting thrown down to where the other guys are. Okay, what about you guys? Tower ammo. The defensive tower needs reloading. Press B to learn how. You must protect the skies from invaders with towers. Invasions can happen at any time. Towers low on ammo can be reloaded quickly for a small price, and it's cheaper than buying a new one. Okay. Hold Y and press left. Okay, you've been reloaded. Aha! I like that they got a new little readout on it. Uh, used to be it wouldn't do a highlight, so you didn't know which one you were trying to reload or which one you were trying to fix, and so you sometimes got screwed up. Who is that guy? Who are you? I want to know what you are. I want to know. Look, he's like a little harvester guy. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, and look what I found. Yes. Yes. Hoverboard. There are a few vehicles lying about that you're free to use. Acquaint yourself with the controls now as they'll be available to you later as you corner more markets. Glide around the planet surface. Press A for a boost jump. I want to see what's over here. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that's fast. Oh, it's got uh, it's got a battery now, though. It's important to know. All right, I need to slow down. Ooh. Okay, I got to go up here. There's something at the top of this. Uh, do, 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 do. Hello. Do, 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 do. Oxygen plants. So useful. Slide down ladders. Hold left trigger to quickly slide down. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whee! Very cool. Eh. Eh. All right, what's this last objective? Almost every plant or creature can be turned into ingredients for soup. Most wildlife will bite back, though, especially when provoked. Take caution when attacking nests and be ready for a fight. Okay. Hi, what's up, guys? Hey. How's it going? Hiya! Whoa! Yeah, get angry. Oh, there's one last objective up here. I see, I see. I will be there in a moment. Oh, look at the Charleses. 
They're so adorable, and these guys are just throwing plants around. Oh, that's amazing. They're harvesting all by themselves, you guys. Oh, there's a sword. I want that sword. Hold on. Give me. Eh. Eh. Hello. I've got a sword. Who's leaving all these deadly weapons lying around? Oh ho! Is that the fabled Yamamura Masa 2? Sword with batteries included? Yamamura Masa. Well done. Well done. Oh, careful there. What is this? Power generator. This power generator is not connected. Press B to learn how. This power generator was once connected to the factory, but it appears to be separated. Add a corridor piece and figure out a way to reconnect the generator and channel additional power to the factory. Okay. A narrow corridor, maybe? No. Maybe a short corridor. There we go. Power connected. Very cool. That's great because I remember there being the power system set up before, but there was no real way of monitoring it or altering it. You just kind of had to pay attention. I had one base that got so big that it just started to fall to pieces. The rocket below needs a clear path for takeoff. Press B to learn how. What on earth is this corridor piece doing above a soup rocket? You can't take off to deliver our soup. To remove this corridor at once to give the soup rocket a clear path. I assume I hold Y. Yep. And then press down. Woo. And I can get my matter back. Cool. Move the ground. Asteroids can pick up and move blocks of soft ground. B to learn how. Lift soft blocks of earth straight out of the ground and place them elsewhere. It's a great way to smooth out a flat path for robot workers, build steps, or plug holes in the ground. Give it a go with these blocks. Hold B to pull blocks of soft rock out of the ground or walls. Oh, hold on. Go here. Eh. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Very cool. So, oh, something's happening. Break time soon. Oh, so maybe it just wanted us to check stuff out before the level ended, and then we'll get a little review like you normally do. Break time coming up. Well, then let's go ahead and just start clearing a path towards this oxygen plant, and uh, that'll probably give us a good spot to end this video, actually. And uh, then you guys can tell me down below what you think of Nom Nom Galaxy. Do you want to see more? Is this something you'd like to see us re-explore on the channel? Because I love this game. I think it's fantastic. And I think I can probably convince Jasmine to play with me as long as we can figure out a time to get together. Oh, it's quitting time. Um, if you liked what you saw, be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price. Let me know down below if you want to see more. I'm going to try and convince Jasmine or find a way so that Jasmine and I can play this together. I know it's tough to uh, organize those kinds of sessions, but uh, it's a great game for co-op. But either way, it's a great game, and I hope you guys like it. So uh, I will see y'all next time.